think it is. Yes, brother. Yes. Just about imagination. Yes. I told you that my wife had put pictures. Today I was asking her, why did you put the pictures? And she said, when I would give you those, that cross at that time and the picture in your hand, you would be very calm. And I could not be with you continuously. So I put bigger pictures all around. Okay. Those pictures at that time were like hammer and chisel. Okay. Yes. So when you are looking at the pictures and your what was running in your mind, from the picture was coming faith because you are a baby. And that faith was like a hammer on a chisel and breaking the stronghold of the enemy. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Praise God. Every time you had fear, I would say, what yes, Jesus is looking at you. And I was behaving like a three-year-old. I was at that time calling her mother. Okay. And... Um, she would say, look at Jesus, he's talking to you and you talk to him, okay? I'll just cook food and come back. And I would be sitting and looking at that picture. Little did I know that actually speaking in my thoughts, as I was using that, what she had taught me, on one side, the construction was breaking like a bulldozer. And on the other side, the imagination was also building up a new stronghold that Jesus is my Lord. And this went on on the fifth day. I could recognize her as my wife and I remembered her name, my children's name and my name. So wow. what happened those five days? Those five days, what she spoke, that word, it went into a loop it went into a loop, brother. And it actually Amen. started breaking the fear and mm -hmm. the demonic spirits on a loop. And after that, I, I started having bath. I would not latch the door, but at least I would shut the door. And it was not necessary that she stands outside. But I, if I can hear a voice that she's talking, that was enough. So, Every day was a milestone, you see. Amen. <clears throat> so that was strong was happening, and every day it was getting better and better. And by the fifth, by the one month time, I was out of it completely. Praise but God. Jesus, it's the basic. What I mean to say, you Praise not completely God. basic. But what she was saying, she was telling me to visualize. Mm. Okay. Praise God. And, and, and that's how we build a house by putting one brick at a time yes. in the same way. Every day you are taking the same scripture and imagining it from more and more revelation and understanding and the secrets of the kingdom of God. So you are actually building. If, if the, those people were visualizing to build the Tower of Babel, which caught God's attention. Uh, how, yes. how, how are they building up? There is no limits to the there imagination. Was, there was one they language, reach, one imagination. Yes. Yes. You want to reach the sky. And their imagination was wrong. Yes. Their imagination was wrong. And they had one language. And they had begin to do. And God said, because their imagination is right. Just put that Hebrews, uh, Genesis 11, 6. Yes. See that the word imagination is there. The Tower of Babel, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. Yes. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. Mm. And they have all one language. And okay. this is one. Okay. And this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. So if you are imagining Ephesians 1, the first chapter, the third chapter, 1, 2, 3 chapter, 
you are imagining now can the enemy come anywhere close to you no way yeah. if they were wrong if they were wrong and the lord is saying that nothing can stop them what about when you are right wow wow nice that's part. a reconfirmation no i'm not giving you i'm not giving you my some fairy tale story i'm giving mm. you from the scripture so that the the truth will set you free Amen. Amen. You, my oh, own story. You. If God had to use a picture for me in the beginning, now He is not use is not using your picture. Now He's using me the scripture. Mm 